Hello friends and welcome back to Brick's World. This video is all about how I got a job by being a bum, but please forgive old man Brick for having a few kind of long tangents along the way. So, the year 2023. I didn't expect it going into it, but this was the year of the bum. I was just like everyone else, working at my dead-end job, not really going anywhere, but sometime in January, a switch flipped in my head. I realized I just couldn't take it anymore. Then I looked at my bank account and thought, hmm, well, I wonder how long this would last me if I quit my job right now, and I realized, well, actually, I don't have enough money to justify this, so never mind, forget about it. But next day came, and I went to work, and then I knew for sure, wow. I just can't take this anymore at all. It's time to quit, and so I did. I sent my resignation in and felt the relief of finally being able to do whatever I wanted, and for the first time in a while, I felt free. At this point, I've spent the last six months just really bumming it out. It felt insane. One day, I was so bored, I made some kind of concoction of beer, gin, and lemon juice because it's all I had in my fridge. I then started watching some anime, getting pretty comfortable, looking at my phone, and then realizing it was a Tuesday afternoon. And then it hit me, sitting, drinking, anime, comfortable, on a Tuesday? On a Tuesday? It was crazy. If I felt like going out on a random weekday afternoon to go buy some donuts, I literally could just go. Could you even imagine? This was absolutely crazy to me. During this period, I really did just spend all my time doing whatever I wanted. And as you know, this kind of life really does have its perks, but the acceptance and approval of your parents and by society as a whole, well, those are certainly not on the list. As much as I was enjoying just spending my time doing whatever I wanted, which included watching an ungodly amount of anime and making videos whenever I felt like it, I always did feel like my self-esteem was reaching all new levels of rock bottom. Well, okay, maybe not full on rock bottom, but whenever I had a conversation with a friend who had a stable career and maybe any semblance of an activity that was profitable, well, I really didn't feel good about myself at all. So I plan to use this time to not just sit back and enjoy myself, but to actually be intentional and deliberate with doing things that help me in any way at all, even the smallest little things. If I found that I enjoyed making a video, I do it. If I found that I didn't enjoy the specific thing, I just stop doing it. And in my last video, I talked about watching as much content as possible because I really wanted to know about all the good movies and shows on the planet, all because I thought it would help me be more cultured somehow. So I really tried to enjoy myself while giving myself time to sit down and really think about what I've been doing and what it's revealed about who I really am and if what I've been spending my time on isn't something I'll be regretting in the future. So here I am, six months into this despicable lifestyle of being a full on waste of space and I've actually made a good amount of videos and I'm really proud of where I am today. And okay, that was a really long tangent, but as I said in the intro and with this whole video, I got a job by being a bum. It's now actually been two months since I started writing the script and I've been working as a creative strategist slash producer for a while now. What even is that, right? Sounds like a completely made up job description, but here we are. I don't want to take a victory lap here but I just want to say I went into this job completely underqualified but you know what since spending the last few months just really bumming it out and really trying to spend my time with what I enjoy I've since created a portfolio good enough to actually get me a job doing what I like all in six months no having to go to school no having to deal with annoying teachers and professors and homework and, and all of that it really worked my plan worked I spent so many hours of my life during this time just sitting and second-guessing my plans just because I really did feel like a bum sometimes but just having a real intention with how I was spending my time and really thinking about what I enjoy really helped me more than school ever has if you're there sitting at home just thinking about what your true passion really is and trying to figure out how to start making money from what you actually enjoy doing. Well, I don't really have the perfect answer for every situation, but I do have some advice from my experience. So listen up, just do nothing. <laughs> you heard me right, just do nothing. Well, when you're sitting at home doing nothing, you're not actually doing nothing. You're actually defaulting to something you enjoy doing. So when you find some things that you might be leaning towards, just lean into it even more. 
and stop looking at it like you're wasting your time doing nothing. When I realized I love movies and watching stuff, I realized I might enjoy something in writing or video production, so I just binged everything. But I never felt like I wasted any of my time, because even if I was sitting there watching movies, I always felt so inspired after each one of them. And not just that, I felt like I was really working towards something too. You know Citizen Kane? Everyone talks about that movie for some reason, and even if I didn't completely love the movie, after I was done with it, all the references made sense! And it really felt like I was slowly adding to my knowledge base and my skill set every single day, even if I was just wasting away in my chair. When I started seeing bumming it out and watching movies as an actual productive thing to do, I really started having such a good relationship with it. I didn't beat myself up for having fun, and it led to the second thing that really helped me get the job I wanted. I made stuff. It's easy to sit at home and watch movies, but making stuff was really hard. Just starting out was really hard. First video I put out took so long, but when it was finally out there, I realized I love making it. And it took months of making videos to figure out that I love telling stories above all. I didn't know that at the beginning, so I hated editing, I hated filming stuff, and it really did start feeling like what I loved doing was actually unbearable. But all it took for me was to really think about what I enjoyed doing above all and say, you know what? F*** it. I abandoned having to set up the camera and look presentable and taking b-roll of everything and stuck to making scripts and recording voiceovers because that's what I love. And I ended up making this kind of content and I can't believe it but I'm in love with it. It did take some time and it was pretty tough but I figured it out just because I followed what I enjoyed. Look, I don't have all the answers and everyone's experience is never going to be just like my own, but I have to say, if you take time to live like a bum sometimes and finally let yourself enjoy things and stop worrying about what people think about that and really try to make something, no matter how small, you can do it. It doesn't take a degree or any amount of school or work experience. It's all there because everything you need to learn is already available to you on the internet. Just be intentional with how you waste your time and you can do it. It took me six months of being a bum to create this YouTube channel and all the skills I gained while having fun making stuff for YouTube and in those six months I've landed myself a job that I really enjoy and I know you can do it too if you wanted to. I believe in you! Woohoo! We can do it friends! It's apparently not that hard! I'm still making videos even if I'm not making any money off of it, but I feel so happy because I have a format that I really enjoy and I really want to keep going with. I know it was a pretty long video for what it was, and I know it was a little bit drawn out and it took too long to make, but hey, let's go bums! Time to bum it out and maybe, maybe, chase your dreams while you're at it. Bye!